Okay, so this is a radiator test. So this room, I mean the living room, gets quite cold. Um, and when I measure the radiator uh, with this gun, so at the top it's about 53, so that's quite good because that's the same as everywhere else in the house, radiator wise. Um, and then if I move this down, of course it's going to get cooler. You get to the centre here, about 46 for the radiator. And a bit more to the bottom of the radiator. Is that normal that it should be 30? I'm wondering if I have sludge build up. So that's there. Now, uh, unlike normal radiators, um, that's actually the return pipe. Um, that side. And I don't have a thermostatic radiator valve. I just have a cap, which I've just taken off. And that's how you turn it on further but what i'm wondering you see if we look at where the water is down the bottom there 23 and as we work up the radiator 49 halfway through 50 and then 50 at the top 51 now the hot radiator in the house will get to about 57 58 um so there is a bit of a difference there but i'm just wondering is this What's indicating of sludge buildup or not? I don't know. Uh, so there we go, in the middle of the radio. So there, 47, come down. 30s. Mm. So go along. So originally I was thinking of balancing my radiators, but it's not an issue that the radiator isn't getting hot. But I have heard that if you if it's colder at the bottom, which it is here, 21, then that's an then it is at the top, then that's an indication of sludge buildup. And if it's cold on the top but hot at the bottom, then it's an indication of air in the system. And if it doesn't turn on at all, so your thermostat valve, or you need to balance your radiators. And I think in this case, I think it's sludge.